Hi. So here is a standard 1, 4, 5, 1 progression in C major. We've got chord 1, chord 4, chord 5, and we know that wants to go back to chord 1, right? And we know that that's, that cadence is called a perfect cadence. And it's perfect because we've got that tension of the chord 5 that just really wants to uh, resolve back to the chord 1, right? The tonic chord. And that feels like home and centered and it's not tense at all. Okay. But what if I didn't go to chord one? What if I went somewhere else instead? So the one, the four, the five, and then here. Doesn't that feel like we've gone just like in a completely different direction? We've changed gears. And that is called the interrupted cadence. So what's going on here? What, what have we done? Well, we've interrupted that dominant, that tension, that wants to resolve to the tonic, and instead of resolving it, we take it somewhere else. And so we've interrupted its resolution back to the tonic. Instead of going back to the tonic chord, we're going to the sub-median chord. So, why is it feeling like it's interrupted? Well, first of all, that's a minor chord, right? We can hear that that is a minor triad instead of the major one that we're expecting. And that's a big change for our ears. Um, let's, in fact, have a look at those two chords, and we'll see how does this work. So it should have gone to the tonic, right? That's where we're expecting it. And tonic in C major is C, E, G. And the submediant in C major is A, C, E. And hopefully you'll notice the C and the E are common, common notes between those two chords. And so it's just that that G that becomes the A, wherever you want it to become the A, it, that's the only difference between these two chords. And yet they sound so, so different. But this is part of the power of this interrupted cadence, because uh, I can keep my melody. Let's start the melody up here. We've got the tonic. Mm, tonic, the do, right? And so I can have my melody. Tonic to the subdominant, to the dominant and to the tonic, right, that's normal. We feel we resolve that sub, that leading tone, resolves to the tonic, and I can keep that. Tonic, leading tone and tonic, and my melody can stay on the tonic even though the rest of the chord has changed to this minor feel, and that's quite surprising to us. How this is normally used is as a kind of a false ending, but it's often used as a false ending. So we're expecting it to finish, but it doesn't. And it's really just so that we can repeat it all over again. This time, 